Hey everyone, happy Monday and happy after Easter. I just wanted to take uh, some time here to do a quick video uh, to thank uh, someone who really helped uh, pump up the Wargaming Noob Historical Channel and that is Todd from the Wardrobe Plays World War II channel. Uh, he took it upon himself to uh, promote my channel on his and because of that, um, as of today, I've hit over 100 uh, subscribers. So, uh, Todd, thank you so much for, for your uh, kindness and generosity. It really means a lot to me and my son um, that uh, you took it upon yourself to, to promote our channel. So thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts. Um, and for all of you that have joined this channel in the last day or so, welcome. I'm hoping that you are enjoying what we are putting up and that you like the Wargaming Noob style of videos and that uh, because of you we will continue to pump these out and uh, hopefully you will continue on in our journey with uh, learning how to play historical war games. As a little bit of a treat I want to do a preview of what's going to be coming up for the channel so uh, take a look. All right, everyone, so here's the preview of what's coming up in the next couple weeks. Uh, continuing on with the series of Flames of War unboxings and battle reports, I do have a lot of uh, Flames of War stuff coming through, but um, still waiting for that. Uh, I do have uh, what I recently got, which is the uh, Falsham Jaeger Company. So, uh, yeah, that's unboxing will be coming up maybe this week, I'm not sure. Maybe next week, it depends uh, on my schedule here. Uh, next up, uh, for a little bit of Napoleonic stuff, got uh, War Games Atlantic British Rifleman. I've been watching a lot of Sharp lately, and I found this at my local hobby store and uh, decided to go ahead and pick it up. So yeah, uh, this unboxing definitely will be coming up. Uh, it is filmed, as well as the Falsham uh box that's also been filmed already. Interestingly enough, at that same hobby store, I was able to get a good price. I gotta raise this up a little bit because it's kind of big. I got a good price on the World War III two-player starter, Team Yankee. Um, normally, I wouldn't get something like this because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to keep to kind of the games that I'm doing now. But I could not pass up the... Uh, the discount that I got in this and that was because the box was damaged so uh, definitely a good starter uh, and you know it plays similar to Flames of War so uh, my son and I are definitely going to enjoy playing this and then lastly in the same vein as World War 3 Team Yankee I'm gonna lower this just a little bit um, at the same hobby store and in uh, damaged box condition, I was also able to get uh, Plastic Soldier Company's Cold War Soviet Infantry for a very good price. And you get 141 miniatures just in this set alone, and that's fantastic. Uh, it'll be a good way to boost the Soviet faction in that World War III two-player starter. So, yeah, that's what we have planned for the next couple weeks. All right, that was the quick preview of what we're going to have coming out in the next couple weeks. Uh, this Saturday, I'm not sure if we are going to be posting a hobby vlog, but uh, my son and I will be doing a battle report for Bolt Action. Uh, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do just like a tank battle. I'm not sure if we're going to have any uh, squads supporting the tanks, but, you know, uh, if anything, uh, we are also still learning... Uh, bolt action and we want to keep it as simple as possible and hopefully that um, battle report will be of interest to you guys um, so keep an eye out for that as well um, but yeah that's it again thank you Todd thank you to all the new subscribers you're definitely making uh, our work with Wargaming Noob Historical a lot of fun and uh, we look forward to, to having you guys watch our videos so that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from Wargaming Noob Historical.